Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne's Daily Rambles. Today we are finally doing Daredevil Season 3, Episode 1. Sorry for waiting almost a week and some change, like more than a week. Sorry about that. I've been stupid busy, but I'm starting to get back into swing of things. Hopefully. <laughs> so, we start off with Matt. Basically, when the whole building came down on him, he got dumped out of the sewer, basically. And then a cab driver found him, and basically Matt Murdock said something about church, so the guy actually took him to a church. And basically he remembers kissing Electra, and then Matt is awake, and he can't see or hear like how he used to. And basically, oh, and it's right here, he can't hear in his right ear. This ear. <laughs> Well, actually, this is probably, I don't know. Anyway, he can't hear in his right ear, okay? And then I uh, talks to the pastor, and he's basically kind of lost his faith a little bit. And then Matt doesn't want to talk. And then the kids talk to him, and then the Maggie sends them away. And basically, they're moving him out soon. And just kind of like on his way, like, you're going to be okay, like, you can go now. Then we cut to where Paige is at Matt's apartment, and then she has flashbacks to when uh, Matt told her about uh, the Daredevil costume, and just everything about him. And then we go to the present day where Foggy is there too, and we find out that Matt's being evicted. But Paige still thinks that he is coming back, but Foggy tries to reason with her, and it's like, no he's not. And he's doing the blank game with himself because he won. He was the one that brought basically brought the suit and everything, and it was like his fault that the whole thing happened. And, but Paige still is not going for. She still thinks that he's going back. And then we find out that Matt is actually staying in the laundry room of the church, and he still won't talk to the preacher. And then he won't let people in again. And then the nun confronts him about it. And basically he goes on as a whole lost faith little bender. And then the nun gives him her cross. And he flings it in the bed. And so she hangs it on the lamp. And then we have the kingpin is in prison still. And the peel is happening. And basically denied. And then we have Vanessa is um, facing charges as an accessory. And basically, Kingpin tells them to uh, leave uh, to his lawyers and to keep her safe. And then we have Matt is trying to walk without a cane, but the nun gives him meds and liquor. And so he can't uh, taste anything but uh, blood and ash. And then talks... And then uh, Maggie kind of tosses down to him and talks about his father. And then Matt decided to unblock his nose. So basically what that did was like his nose was still clogged up from all the stuff that happened. And his senses are starting to come back to him because once he got all of it out and it was a lot, I was like, <coughs> ew. And so the senses are starting to come back and uh, he starts training and then the nun and the preacher talk. And so they bring in a boxer. Um, and he's getting better. But he got hit in the bad ear. And that kind of just made... Um, that just set him back. And the nun puts, um, puts a cross around him. And um, she asks, do you want to go to Mass? He says, no, I'm not going to Mass. And then we cut to where he's on the roof. And basically saved a girl and her dad... He did great, um, but then he got beat up because, again, um, sensitive to the ear. And the, then we cut to where uh, the cops show up. And so he managed to disappear. And then we cut to the guy talks to the wife. Then kid at a party. Separate thing. And basically, the sister-in-law is um, finally cancer-free. And then he talks to his kid about, like, a pool. And, promise, and at first, he's like, oh, it's not going to happen. But then the dad promises it is going to happen. 
And then we cut to where um, they have no money. <laughs> and so then he goes to work. And basically have the woman is trying to save him by saying, like, I can't pronounce you because of FICA. Score is too low to advance. And basically he loves with her. And it's like, look, I paid for my sister-in-law's cancer treatments because they couldn't afford it. And I was doing this thing. And I understand, but I want to advance. And she said, I can't do it. I'm sorry if there's something I can do, but here is a case. He goes to Simon to um, Kingpin. And so, um, at first, you know, when he goes in there, he's like, okay, just cut the crap. You're not going to say anything. I just want you just want to tell you to shove it. And we can get on about our day. But actually, Fisk has a change of mind. And he will make a deal. And that's the end of the episode. So, um, really good episode. I really enjoyed it. I give this an A. Very strong A. It's probably one of the... It's like a really good season opener. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I like how we're going to start on Matt's journey and see how, he will, how he's going to adjust and how he's going to deal with stuff. So I'm very interested to see all that. So I'm very excited for that. And the whole Fisk thing too, I think that's going to be really good as well. And just everything that's happening, I, I'm super excited for it. And yeah, so I'm excited to see where things want to go. I've only seen the first like two and a half episodes. I saw this episode, the next one, and like half of the third one. And then I got too busy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm really enjoying it so far. And I can't wait to see what's next. And that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of it. Do you agree? Disagree? Just tell me your overall thoughts down below. And also, comment if you want me to keep doing thumbnails for it. It's not really a thumbnail. It's really just me posting a thumb poster that I found on the internet and set up as a thumbnail. So if you want me to use like an actual screenshot or me take a picture of actually me, um, if you think that would be better than the posters and stuff, please let me know down below and just tell me your, your overall thoughts while this thing tries to get in focus. That would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It's not a subscription service. So if y'all can just smash that like button and subscribe, that'll be awesome sauce. I never say awesome sauce. So anyway, um, I hope y'all have a super awesome day when you watch this. Night, evening, or day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.